Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, a new initiative here from Amigo Studios. Uh, a couple months ago, uh, we sadly made the decision to shutter the Our Sinclair podcast uh, due to my new job arrangement, and um, things have changed since then. Um, uh, my job is not taking up as much time as I thought it would, and so um, I'm able to uh, give a little bit more time to the humble specky. I talked to Aaron. Aaron's got some other things going on, and uh, he is uh, just not able to resurrect our Sinclair at this time. So I thought I'd do something of a solo effort and maybe change it up a little bit and uh, come about things at a little bit different angle than a weekly podcast. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine some um, looking at the uh, uh, the box and the manual for some of these games and um, and we'll, we'll go through it, we'll see what it has to say, and then just play them a little bit. And so these will be little snippets. I wouldn't imagine these would be any longer than 10 or 15 minutes a piece. Um, but it's, it's my way to say a big thank you to the Spectrum community for supporting our Sinclair for so many years and um, to also just to play some of these awesome games. So I want to give a big shout out to Roshi and everyone who has sent us Spectrum games over the years and I will uh, work my way through them as best I can. Now, uh, just in the interest of time and ease, I will be emulating these titles uh, with the Specky emulator. Spectaculator has, has not done me any favors as of late. So um, we'll see, we'll be looking at the real tapes, but we'll be playing them through emulation. So anyway, we're gonna kick things off with Frankenstein Jr. Uh, this is uh, a collector's edition, number one here. Uh, and it's from Cartoon Time. I know it's a little bit hard to see with the, the J card there. Um, Cartoon Time. Okay. Run around the castle to rebuild your dad. Find his parts and plug in 100,000 volts to revive him. So we need to find keys, walk into open doorways, but watch out for ghosts and ghouls. Okay, objects and keys are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Don't run out of energy. Okay, and these are the other, uh, the other titles in this series, and they're you could actually, I guess you could you could uh, punch these out and put them in a manual or a, a book, an album. You know, use them like uh, collector cards. This is a pretty neat way to market. And uh, we have our controls here. So it looks like it is Kempston compatible. And take the key on the wall of the first screen. So I like these hints and tips that it gives you um, rather than just turning you loose. Yeah, okay. So uh, let's take a look at the tape itself. Boy, this is about as cheap as it gets. Uh, they don't even have anything about Frankenstein Jr. on the cassette itself. We just have an F for Frankenstein on there. Um, and no other mention of the software contained therein. So anyway, um, nothing that I need to, okay, change tool is um, pick up, put down a space, change tool is six or seven. I don't know if um, I will need those or not, but we'll leave the control I'll just leave that up here when we go to change our scene. And let's load up Frankenstein Jr. So, just going through my files here. Go to the Fs. Whoops. Frankenstein Jr. So this is uh, copyright 1990 Codemasters. Although there was nothing maybe here on the side. Is there anything? Oh yeah, published by Codemasters Software. So um, even though it's not explicitly labeled as Codemasters, uh, it is in fact. And this came from someplace called John Menzies, where it retailed for I think 
two pounds 99 at John Menzies. So take for that what you will. Let's load this thing up. Okay, and then all we need to do is that. I should already have my keyboard or my uh, joystick set up. Do you need to enable the audio? Okay, probably turn that down some on my end. All right, and uh, nice thrilling tune to open things up. Make sure my joystick is connected here. Okay. Oh wow. So this is a isometric affair. I was expecting to be side scrolling. Pick up the key with the fire button. I don't think I have a weapon. So or maybe I can okay, is that I'm not sure that that ghost is actually hurting me. Or maybe it's just the, the beating of my heart is uh, is causing it to be... Oh yeah, there we go. I'm definitely taking damage. I'm definitely dead. Okay, we'll try that again. I realize that game audio is probably a little low. Okay, let's try space. Or six? Nope. Also got some other dwarves down here. This is a pretty neat way to design levels. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Oh, jeez. Get away from me, ghost. Yeah, I was stuck. Stuck there. I'm just gonna have to die. Alright. We'll try it again. Oops. I will say that it's difficult. Okay, we just gotta run like heck from this ghost. Cause, okay, managed to get through that door and that, that got rid of the ghost too. Oh, skeleton. Yeah, you'd think that Frankenstein would have some sort of an offensive weapon, but he doesn't. Make sure that I'm not missing out on anything here. Um, take the key, run through doors to avoid monsters, find the sanctuary, and use the space, maybe the spade, to dig up bits of bodies in the graveyard. Okay. Yeah, I guess I've just got to find these different items. So we're just going to press on to the left. Oh, okay, that key did open that door, and here is another key. Okay, so we've got multiple keys. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's 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 monocolor, but the the backgrounds are, are pretty well defined and drawn. There's some a lot of variation. Look at that owl in the tree there. And those skeletons are going to be right up on me. Come on. Okay, that's not the right. That's not the right way to go. And I'm dead. All right, we'll try it again. Okay. Can I? Do you think I can pick up those? If I go up here. Oops. I 
can't pick up that, that revolver. I mean, that ghost just literally traps you up against the wall. So, no good there. All right, well, I think that <laughs> I'm not really sure where to go from that. Uh, I guess you would just use your, um, you would use your wits about you to discover what keys open what doors and just through trial and error you could progress through there. Um, yeah, this has been, uh, what is it called? Frankenstein Jr. for the ZX Spectrum. So, uh, let me know if you played ZX, or if you play if you played ZX Spectrum, you're obviously watching this. Uh, if you played Frankenstein Jr. and I'm missing something, just leave me a note in the comments and let me know. Alright, I'll see you next time on Our Sinclair.